Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I'm Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I'll be talking about how to write a book from your PhD thesis. And there are many people who do a lot of work during their PhD and then they think that maybe they can get a book out of this work. Now writing books out of PhD is very common or at least I should say something which is desirable in fields such as social sciences and humanities. But even if you are somebody studying engineering and science, it is possible to write a book during your PhD. So let's look at the different type of books which are out there. So of course, you know about textbooks. These are the books which you typically use in class. Then you have something known as research monographs. And this is the area where many PhD people can contribute. And research monographs are essentially deep dives into a particular research problem. So you take something which is somewhere between a textbook and somewhere between a journal paper and then you try to write this research monograph. There are also of course reference books then there are books which are written for specific exams and tests. These are known as exam guides and also there are something known as the edited books. So these books are those which are composed of various book chapters and the book chapters are then put together in some systematic way for the different people in the field, particularly in a certain domain, which is very hot at a present time. There may be solicitations for book chapters from various experts around the world. And then some expert may collate all these and write this kind of book. So let us look at the book, which is most popular for people who are doing PhD, who have done PhD and so on. And these are known as research monographs. So research monographs essentially focus on one research topic quite deeply. Now, when you want to write any book, you have to write something which is known as a book proposal. And the book proposal is a document, maybe it is something like four to six pages, and you submit this document to a publisher. So what you need to do is that you need to choose a specific publisher. For example, you may choose Springer, Taylor and Francis, Wiley or Elsevier. And what will happen is that each of these publishers will have a book proposal form on their web page. So if you search in Google, you are going to land up on this particular form. Now this form is generally in Word, that is Microsoft Word. And when you write the book proposal, you have to give an outline of the book. You have to give the competition in the market. So the competition is going to be three to four books which are similar or somewhat similar in content to your own book and the price of these books, the basic things which they cover in these books and how your book is different and how your book is going to sell in the market and so on. You are also going to have to give the estimated length and price of the book, the table of content, the book as a PDF document in some cases, and also some chapter in case you are not able to get the complete book as a PDF document. You may be able to submit maybe the table of content, the introduction chapter and one more chapter. Now, what happens is that when you are a new writer, you have to often submit the complete draft of the book. So this is something which is required. If you are somebody who has written books before, then what happens is that the publishers are somewhat amenable to your simply submitting a table of content in those cases. Now, the second thing is that when you are a PhD student, it is always useful to have a supervisor who can help you in writing the book. This is because the supervisor has some level of credibility, he or she has finished the PhD and so they are somebody who has a good CV. So remember whenever you try to write a book proposal you also have to give your CV or your resume and you also have to give the name of four to five references who are going to actually review your book. So one of the thing which the journal guys or which the publishers are going to look at is the quality of your CV and certainly that is going to help them to make a decision because the publisher is interested in the fact that your book is going to sell. This is very important for the publisher. This is not like a journal. This is a book. So people are actually paying money to read that content. So that is something which is very important. Now, the third factor is that your book should be in a topic which is marketable. And generally what happens is that there are many topics in which people do PhD, but there are certain topics which are relatively hot or at least which have some level of interest in the community out there. Now, one of the things which has happened because internet has become very popular is that most of the books are nowadays hosted on the publisher website and many of the books, especially the research monographs are simply downloaded. So you will see publishers such as Springer have many research monographs out there 
and people often download these particular monographs and so what happens is they can get some royalty from the sale of this book and also the publisher will get some money now as far as royalty is concerned it is generally something like 10 to 12 percent of the price of a typical book now the next issue has to do with modeling versus experiment and what I have found in my experience that it is simpler to publish books if you are in a modeling type of field because when you do modeling what happens is that you have a lot of equations you have a lot of theory you have a lot of graphs which have come out and you can develop that entire thing and create a book out of that now of course it's possible to publish experimental books also but what i find is that most of the books are actually written by modeling people because if you recall the different textbooks which you have read in your college maybe in your bachelor's degree master's degree even your phd these are often written by modeling people so this is the case of books involving physics chemistry math and any other subject now the final point i'm going to tell you is about book chapters and that is that if you are not able to write a book suddenly one thing you can do is that you can write a book chapter and book chapters are a very good way to write something which maybe is something you do not want to publish in a journal you can give a lot of information in the book chapter you can provide detailed derivations you can provide code also in some cases so book chapters are something which is interesting now i'm going to give you some examples of books i have written with my phd students or former phd students so these are typical research monographs for example that is the book here the rotating beam problem in helicopter dynamics so you can see a very specialized topic but this is certainly something which is published by springer and there is one more book here on structural health monitoring using genetic fuzzy system so in both these cases the books are about 150 pages long or so and they are written as part of a phd dissertation so what can be done here is that you take some aspects of the phd dissertation and you can write a book out of this so this is something which is possible of course these are books involving essentially modeling essentially applied mathematics and computation so that's an area which is very publishable finally if we look at the book chapters here is an example of a typical book chapter machine vision and navigation you can see that it's a pretty thick book out here and this actually has a plethora of different chapters so there are a large number of people from around the world who have contributed to the book and my particular chapter is in page 733 so a book chapter may be 25 page long or 50 page long or something like that the book may be something like 1000 page long or it may be lesser also so very often on a hot area like machine vision and navigation what can happen is that there is a need to get different experts around the world write various book chapters and put it together so essentially the people who compile these you will see some experts are listed on this book they are the guys who bring the book together and then the different chapters are written by different people around the world so this was my take about how to write books out of your phd and many people make a lot of contribution maybe you are not somebody who can publish your work in journals you can always look out to write a research monograph springer is one of the best publishers for writing monographs and if you are interested in book chapters, if you search in Google, there are many solicitations of book chapters out there. So you have to search for call for book chapters in a specific area and you will find that people are soliciting for book chapters. Do keep in mind that there are some publishers who may charge you money to publish a book chapters. I wouldn't recommend going with those kind of publishers. I would say that in case of reputed publishers, you can write the book chapters and in fact you may get some money for writing the book chapter and part of the royalties and so on.